Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a problem that I basically um, saw when I came into the greenhouse this morning. Now, when I came into the greenhouse this morning, I saw that all the cucumber plants, this is a cucumber plant by the way, all the cucumber plants look um, wilted, they look drowsy, like you know, you know, like when you want to sleep, you know, you're getting drowsy, that is how they look. They look um, weak, they, they didn't look vibrant and so on so when i looked on all the plants i realized that all of them had this general look of weakness and wilting so i looked at them looked at the leaves and so on and the leaves the leaves basically were okay um, with the exception of a nutrient deficiency and um, a few white flies flying around not much right and i'm sure you can see them as well um, so you know confirming that the above part of the plant was okay i basically um proceeded to check the roots so when i looked at the roots immediately even without having to dig i realized a very problematic problem if you know what i mean a very bad problem let me show you what i saw This is what I saw. You know what this is? This is nematode, root knot nematode, affecting the cucumber plants. So what happened is that the, the root knot nematode, these pathogens basically um, infest the plant roots and they form these kind of cysts, cysts on the plant roots and those now kind of prevent um, the plants from taking up enough water and um enough you know nutrients to to sustain um you know all the biochemical processes and and just to generally um sustain uh evapotranspiration rates right um so this this does a lot of restrictions so hence you see the plants looking like that they just look wilted So immediately I told them that look, these plants have to go, right? They are basically already whole. They basically reap a lot from them already. So they basically at the ending of the of the of the life. Um so I told them that look, get rid of them. That is why you see in here looking like this. So they get rid of, get getting rid of the plants and um this gravel now will have to be cleaned, right? Because it would have, have a lot of um roots being broken off into the gravel and so on and that can cause reinfestation so they're going to basically clean the gravel and um treat it with treat treat the, the gravel with um a nematicide and also and also any any plants that will be coming inside here will also be dipped in a in a nematicide um root drench first so um so basically that is it oh 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 can you treat nematode um if you find out that it is if you find out that it is affecting your young plants right and the infestation is not that far advanced like what i just showed you then you can basically um continue growing you can basically continue growing that crop and basically use a nematicide and what type of nematicide there's one that we use that is called um it has this active ingredient um azadiractin you could look that up um i don't know the the the, the um the company um trade name that they use you know different companies have different names for the chemicals but the active ingredient basically doesn't change right across the board so it's it's the active ingredient is azadiractin and the 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 brand name that comes on the the the, the, the that nematicide that as in the azadiractin is called um, um azatin o so azatin o is the name that is written on the bottle but the active ingredient is azadiractin so if you go into your farm store your local farm store and you see any product with azadiractin you can basically use it to 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 to, to control um the 
the nematode. So it basically slows it down very considerably and it, your plants will now be able to to um to still grow properly and and produce properly right so it basically um suppresses um different stages of the nematode life cycle so what that does is it essentially um will 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 stop the any further infestation of the nematode right so as i said as a directing you could use that so if you're doing a hydroponic system you just basically you could you could you could run it in the tank right you could run it in the in the tank um if you're doing a recirculating system or you could basically um you know you could you could basically spray it onto your plants as well right um you could do a root drench right as i said if you're in a hydroponic system you could do a root drench as well right you could spray the gravel with it right a root drench if you are in soil you could do a root drench as well you could run it through your drip hose as well right and another chemical that you can use is one that is called um um vidate um i think the active ingredient in vidate is um uh, what is that one again mm. vidate vidate uh, I think it's called um, um, oxamil, oxamil, something like that. I'm not sure, but vidate is an insecticide and a nematicide. And the vidate you can basically do foliar um, spray, right? And you can also apply it via root drench or run it in your hydroponic recirculation system or whatever hydroponic system you have, right? so and remember get rid of the plants um clean clean the gravel or uh, in this case they are using gravel clean whatever substrate you have clean it or replace it and change the water right change the water and the water that is running like is if it's a recirculating system change the water that is recirculating in this system right so um if you have any questions any comments put them in the comments area um again this is what the root not nematode looks like on the cucumber plants as you can see right um i'll see you again in another video bye bye